I came across a word called microtubules. Now you can probably break that word down and be easy. Micro would mean little bitty, all right? Tubules, little tubes is literally what the word means, little tubes. And they look like poles. And it's, if you take a look at it, the microtubules inside the membrane of your cell is what gives the cell membrane its function, its strength, its stability. All right? You catching on this so far? It's here again. God said, put these poles out here, then put, hang the curtain on it. The poles gave the curtain their strength and their form and their stability. Even if the wind blows, you've got these poles now. They're going to hold the curtain in place. Same thing with the microtubules. They give the membrane strength. They, uh, they hold it all together. They give it stability. Now, here's what's really cool. We're, we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty here. God specifically told Moses that you're to make these poles of brass. Now, brass is pretty common, but brass is what's called an alloy. Remember that word from school? An alloy is a combination of two different minerals or elements coming together. Specifically, brass is made out of two primary elements, copper and zinc. Likewise, take a look at this. The microtubules are made of an alloyed compound called tubular dimers. The word dimer has the word di in it. Di means duo or two, twice. Two things paired up called tubulin A and tubulin D. And these two tubulins, these two dimers, these two proteins intermeshed together rolled together like a helix form, all right, rolled out together just like zinc and copper to give the microtubules their form and their strength. Those poles are pillars. In the book of Revelation, Jesus said, Him that overcometh will I make him to be a pillar in the house or the temple of my God. Isn't it neat? So you have the, you have the 13 dimers, rolled together to make these pillars that give the stability to the curtain or the hanging itself, which is the wall or the cell membrane. The cell membrane, if you were to take a look at it, is a bi-layered sheet of phospholipids. Phospho means like phosphorus, it has light. Lipids is like a fatty material that are bonded very close together. The bilayer sheet of the cell membrane looks just like if you were to build a house or a temple made out of stones, which is exactly the way Solomon made his temple. He didn't use curtains. He used stones to build first the wall, then the temple itself. And so you have the same idea, same concept. You don't have just a continuous sheet of cell membrane material. You have something that's sort of like twined together, it's a bilayer sheet, a very, very tightly placed together molecules so that nothing gets in that shouldn't be in and everything that is in is protected. Now remember, it's a bilayer sheet. What was it that God told Moses how to make this particular wall around the tabernacle. He said, the hangings for the court are to be of fine twined linen. The word twine means to double. That's where we get the number two. Twine, twain, um, duo, die, twine. They're all etymologically related. They are the number two. So isn't it amazing? Scientists look at the cell membrane and they get the microscopes in really close and they see that the membranes around the cell are basically, it's a dual layer, all of it entwined together, 
fitly framed together the way Paul said, so that nothing bad gets in and everything that is in is protected. And the exact same instructions given to Moses was that that curtain, that hanging around that wall of the tabernacle was to be a fine, and, and think about it, fine twined linen is the opposite of like coarse linen, like sackcloth. When people make sacks out of whatever material, flax or whatever they're going to make materi the material out of, they don't worry about it being soft, do they? So the twinings are very coarse and they're very big. But in this case here, the thing has to be malleable, which means that it has to be able to change its shape like with the wind and so on has to be able to be folded up just like the cell membrane. It has to be able to move a little bit and change its shape a little bit. But the idea that it was fine twined linen means that it's so knitly and fitly packed together that nothing can get in and everything that is in is safe. 